Okay, so here's my next little mod. This is a pure cosmetic, unadulterated cosmetic mod. Um, I've actually gone and bought these power parts uh, decals for the wheels uh, racing. Um, I wasn't quite sure what, whether to go for it. I think they're more suited, to be honest with you, with the Super Duke R as that sort of thoroughbred, you know, beast uh, image. But here on my GT, I thought I'd give it a go. I've actually put the first slot on. I didn't want the pressure of recording it and making a mistake. So I've done the first set. So I'm just going to quickly walk you through what I've done. Um, let me know what you think on the comments below. Speak to you later. Okay, so the other thing to mention <laughs> is uh, make sure you're not dyslexic, make sure you spell it right. <laughs> I've just gone to put the first letter on and it was the wrong bloody letter. Anyway, so this is the um, each of the letters. So you've got the clear film on top, the white letter underneath, and the backing. So what you do when you take the backing off first to leave the letter stuck to the inside of the clear vinyl. Once you've got all the letters together and you're happy with, with the position, it's a case of rolling the letters onto the wheel, taking out all the air gaps and then pulling off the clear film and then working around. And from the other side, I've literally just approximately got about three inches between each of the two letters. The other thing I've done here is I wanna make sure that what each of the, the two words, so the racing word on that side is 180 degrees opposite where I want this, so I don't want them both on the same side of the wheel. So yeah, so uh, I'll just crack on now. Not ideal weather conditions today, it says you shouldn't do it in really cold weather. It's not that cold, but it's damp and miserable, so anyway, so here I'm just, I'm going to start just to the side of the balancing weights and I'm literally just going to leave it stuck there so I'm just going to have the letter just the other side of the, um, the edge of the wheel here So as you can see, I've just literally placed them two inches, two inches, two inches, two inches, two inches. In fact, I'm, that one there, I'm just going to pull the G and move it away a little bit. about right so yeah so it's just a case now of squeezing it with the finger first trying to get the contour of the wheel pushing and down so without getting any stretches or areas that you can see underneath so I'll just do this very quickly Work your way around. I always find it's better to use the finger because you can actually feel the contours of the wheel. So this is just the first press down. What I've got, I've got like a rubber squeegee that came with when I did the um, <coughs> the Venture Shield, the paint protector. And it's like a rubberized pad. So what I'll do once I've got them down, I'll literally go over it with that the actual plas white plastic is pretty stiff so it's not fragile to the touch it's pretty robust so 
happy with that there. Just, just like a flexible piece of rubber. Whoops. Kick the bucket. And I'm literally just going to work over the letters, bearing in mind that the plastic vinyl clear cover is still on. So you can be a bit aggressive with this, a bit heavy handed, not worrying that you're going to scratch or rip the letters because they're underneath the vinyl. So this is again just making sure everything is down. Okay, happy with that. And all I'm going to do now is take the actual clear vinyl slowly off the lettering. There we go. Work around each different letter. Nice and slowly making sure you don't lift any edges. As you can see, there we go. Let me just show you the other side. It's easier to see. So there you go. Let me see. So quite pleased with that. There you go. Thanks for following guys. Keep subscribing and liking if you haven't already done so. Uh, welcome any comments below and look forward to talking to you. Cheers. Bye-bye.